He is the one. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, guys. How are you today? It is Sunday, September 5th, 2021. And I am, of course, here to annoy you when your day off. But first, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend, your holiday weekend. Hope you guys are getting some relaxation, some rest. Um, of course, I'm here to bug you with some AMC news. But uh, I think this is important, and we should probably talk about it. And let me just first let you guys know, um, I have nothing to do with the research behind this. This is totally a shout out to Astro and his channel and the gentleman he had on, Keith Apologetic. They basically did a six hour live stream on Friday and the guy who goes by Keith Apologetic was calling out the numbers basically from the algorithm that the hedge funds are using to communicate between each other on AMC stock. And he was actually calling out the price action in like 15 minute intervals before it happened. He was even able to pinpoint what AMC will close at. That's how specific he could get with reading the algo. But before we get too far into this video, cue the speeder. <laughs> You just said that on camera, this going viral. Guys, thank you so much for crushing it and getting me to 1,000 subscribers. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, this is the way. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. So this article here is from Fortune Magazine. It's from February 11th, 2021. And the article is entitled, The Stonks Market Caught the AI Algorithms Off Guard 2. Now, I've seen and heard people as far back as maybe May late May, maybe late April, who have said that they had someone on the inside of the market that told them that AI could be possible for why AMC was shorted so heavily uh, when the pandemic broke out. Um, I've heard a lot of people taking credit for it. You probably know who I'm speaking of directly. Um, but if you don't, it's this person. And here clearly on February 11th, this article came out and it's talking about the surge that AMC and GameStop had and how the algorithms that the hedge funds have adapted or put into place to work to their benefit didn't do so well when people decided to start YOLOing stocks and buying and holding. They weren't prepared for that. And I'm going to pull out a couple pieces here. Uh, the first paragraph says, It's widely known that last month's surge in beaten down stocks such as GameStop and AMC that were championed on Reddit's Wall Street Bets community caught a number of well-known short sellers flat-footed. But it seems savvy traders weren't the only ones surprised by the market's wild moves. It turns out the machine brains didn't see it coming either. So as much as people want to talk about AI taking over the world, uh, clearly, they have some room, some room to work on and some improvements to be made when it comes to fighting a short sale. It talks about this man here. His name was Mohammed Hassan. He's from Eureka Hedge. He's a chief analyst for them. He said, while most of the funds that make up AI hedge funds index were flat or slightly down for the month, the index's poor performance was driven by a few funds that were hammered, experiencing double-digit percentage declines possibly because of exposure to U.S. small cap stocks. Many hedge funds use AI algorithms that are trained on historical market data. But when there is a sudden change in the market conditions, such as an unexpected interest rate decision or political event, or yes, a Reddit crazed army of retail investors, YOLOing the price of a few select equities to the moon, those AI algorithms may not fare so well. So we know that there was probably something that was caused by the pandemic where they originally started to short like crazy. Um, but then when people decided to start holding it, the AI wasn't adapted for that type of human influence and they weren't able to make the adjustments that they needed to in order to fight the YOLO aspect. The article continues. While lots of trading firms use machine learning algorithms of various kinds to sift market data for possible profitable correlations and plenty more use AI algorithms to execute the trades that their human analysts dream up, 
What sets apart the 16 funds currently in Eureka Hedges AI Hedge Fund Index is that they have largely handled trading authority over to algorithms. The machines are calling the shots, for good or bad. It says, we have documented a series of events like this over the years, such as the Brexit referendum vote and the Greek referendum and Trump's election where something unusual is happening and is driving the market, where these strategies can get caught off guard, Hassan says. Yes, sometimes the smart money gets beaten by a gang of self-described tards, and sometimes artificial intelligence is plenty dumb. So what does this have to do with Astro's channel? Well, on Friday... This man that was on, Keith Apologetic, was, like I said, calling out the numbers that the algorithm was landing on. And it turns out the computers are only smart some of the time. Because this gentleman, uh, as he self-proclaimed, after three years of watching the stock market for 16 hours a day, was able to pinpoint certain numbers in the algo and be able to tell what price action would happen by the last digit that ended between the bid and the ask. And what I will say is, if you get a chance, and tomorrow we have off, most of us in the country, go over to the channel, watch this video. I'm gonna post it up here on the overlay so you can see exactly what it is. And watch the 15 minute clip, and you will see him calling out the numbers to the amazement of everyone on the live stream. And I don't know yet how this can be used to our advantage, um, but I'm trying to get in touch with him and figure out what we can do about this. Now, it's sure, I guess at some point they could change the algorithm, rewrite the code so that you wouldn't be able to do it this way. But what I will say is if we are able to pick up on these little inclinations that determine which way the price action is going moving forward, then that just is an extra advantage to us. If we know it's coming, it'll be a lot easier to fight it. So I'm going to wrap up this video here because I have another one coming out that I'm working on. But I really wanted to get this to you guys. Please go over to Astro's channel. Check out this 15-minute video. I think it'll blow your mind when you see what's going on and how he was able to decode the algorithm. It's really, really interesting. And um, we'll see where this is going to lead us in the future with AMC. But hopefully we can use it to our advantage. And it just goes to prove the point that the human mind is still good for something. And AI isn't about to take over the world anytime soon. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Enjoy your Sunday. I hope you guys have a great one. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.